thing has stayed consistent. Celebrating 30 years on the air on WROI is the first federal program. Hosts may have changed, but the program is still the same. Now continuing a long-standing tradition, streaming on the first federal Facebook page and on WROI. It's time for the first federal program. Yes, indeed, it is time for the first federal program on an absolutely beautiful Friday morning. The sun is shining, it's 59 degrees, and uh, back from his assignment, Tanner Lee is here. <laughs> morning, Paul. Morning. Hey, yeah, you've been stuck with me hosting three of the last four weeks, so I apologize. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> but, trying to bring some good weather with me this morning, so. Thanks, yeah, you came back from uh, Texas and it got hot up here. Yeah, it was hot down there, I think it definitely brought it with me. Yeah, yeah we're going to blame you for that anyway. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not quite as hot up here as it got down there. It was 90s. Yeah, yeah. down there last week. But. Yeah, that's, uh, Jody was saying that when she was yeah, in here last week, that it was uh, pretty warm down there. That's all right. That's right. It was a good trip, good trip for work, so. Good. Yeah, learned a lot. So. It's Memorial Day weekend, Paul. It is, it is. Hard to believe it's here already, isn't it? I know, it's crazy. I mean, we're creeping into June. We're almost halfway through 2024. Yeah. Don't know where time's gone. I don't either. Schools are getting out. Uh, today's the last day for Rochester. Your kids are excited, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, Manchester ended up having their last day Wednesday. It was supposed to be yesterday, but they had some so hiccups, that. and so they just kind of said, we're just going to yep. let everybody be done. For so, the that. so congratulations to all those seniors starting yes. to graduate high school. Good luck in their future endeavors for sure. Uh, but uh, since it is Memorial Day weekend, I need to remind everybody that we, at uh, first started, will be closed on Monday. Okay. But uh, you can always make with us online and with, and with our mobile app, and I'll give you more detail about that yeah. later on the show. But we've got a fun show this morning. We're going to be talking with Andrew Horseman, who is the chairman of the board for Fulton County Habitat for Humanity. So we'll be talking to him later on. Looking forward to that. Speaking of habitat, well, I got a trivia question this yeah. morning. And actually, our our new uh, summer marketing intern at First Federal, Cam Johnson, actually came up with this tribute today, so uh, you can yell at him if okay. you get this wrong about me. How many countries does Habitat for Humanity operate out of? Ooh. Ooh. But he, he gave you four answer choices, so. Ooh. Is it A, 10, B, 22, C, 48, or D, 83? Wow, okay. None of those were what I was thinking, so... <laughs> kind of different assortment of the answers there. But, yeah. But you, you can think about that all program long. Uh-huh. You know, at the end, so. Sports reports. Uh, local sports aren't done just yet. No, they're not. Congratulations to the Lady Zebra softball team for winning the sectional championship last night. That's exciting. Anytime you can win a sectional is exciting. And, yes. You know, this uh, group of ladies is a, is a young group mm -hmm. on their roster, so... Uh, Bright days are ahead yes. for the Lady Zebra softball team for sure. So, uh, awesome job winning sectional. Keep it going in regionals and keep the great season going. Yeah. On the uh, local pro landscape, uh, Pacers find themselves down two games to zero after last night's loss to the Boston uh -huh. Celtics. Lost uh, by a score of 126 to 110. I figured that was coming after they blew game one. Yeah. Monday night. I, I've i watched a lot of basketball in my short time on this earth, and that was some of the worst last 30 seconds of basketball I've ever seen played by the Pacers Monday night. They just, that was an example of how to give a game away. <laughs> Celtics. And they really need to grab one of those first two, I think, in Boston to have a chance at the series. Yeah. Uh, I know games three and four are coming to Indianapolis this weekend, actually. Game three will be tomorrow. And then game four will be Monday. And yeah. sandwich in between that's a big race going on. In the yeah. 500, so. yeah. And then, of course, you got the Fever and Caitlin Clark playing as well. So Indianapolis is going to be the uh, scene of the, the, the eye of the sports world is going to be on Indianapolis, I guess, this weekend. Yes. But uh, Pacers, I mean, they absolutely have to, of course, find a way to win one of those next two or they're done. Oh, they're yeah. Swept. Yeah. But probably not looking good. Now, on the flip side in the Western Conference, the Dallas Mavericks. Beat the Minnesota Timberwolves in game one of the Western Conference Finals on Wednesday night, so they're up 1 0. Game two is tonight. So keep an eye on that. Like I said, the Indy 500, 108th run of the Indy yes. 500 on Sunday. 
He can tune in right here on WRI, and you guys are going to have all full coverage. Yes, we are, starting at 11 a.m. This is one of the sporting events I think it's 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 better to listen to it than to watch. Oh, absolutely, yes, just because you can think about what it looks like. They paint a perfect picture. Oh, they do, with yes. How they, how the they IMS look. guys are fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Got a, got a favorite pick? Uh... I got a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see Ray Hall, um, Larson, Power. Yeah. So. Yeah, Kyle Larson's going to be fun to watch. Uh, yeah. Of course, he's made a name for himself on the dirt tracks. Now he's doing really well in NASCAR. He's pulling the double on Sunday, so he's doing the Indy 500 and then the Coca Cola 600 for NASCAR. Yes. That night. So, uh, yeah. A lot of guys have done it in the past. Robbie Gordon, Tony Stewart. Probably did the best. He got top 10 one year in both. So I think that was 99 or 01. One of those two years, because that was one of the two years that he did the double. So Larson will be fun to watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick uh, Hunter Ray. Hey. I don't know why. I don't know why. Someone's telling me. I got, I got it right last year with New Gardner, so Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. But uh, with Mike Carson Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, good. Uh, we're one of, one of the Indiana guys. So. In MLB, um, I mean, we're not quite in June, so a lot of season left. <laughs> oh, yeah. A couple record updates here for some local teams and the Yankees, since I'm a Yankee kind of got to throw yeah. it in there. Yeah. They've had a good week, so their record's up to 35 and 17. Your Guardians ball keeps surprising everybody, 33 and 17, leading the AL Central there. Uh, the Joint Tigers are, do have a losing record now, 23 and 27. White Sox up to 15 wins, but still wrecking up 15 and 36. So yeah. Not going good for the Southsiders there. Flip side National League, the Cubs are 27 and 24. A couple games back behind the Brewers there. Uh, the St. Louis Cardinals creeping up towards 500 at 23 and 26 now. So third place in NL Central. And the Cincinnati Reds are last in the NL Central with a record of 20 and 30. So yeah. Not a very fun season for the Cincinnati Pets. Yeah. They kind of had some expectations, but I guess that's what happens sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't have any expectations <laughs> for Cleveland. And look what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Got some tidbits here this morning. Uh, on this date, 1894, the first observation of Mars began using that 18-inch telescope. Awesome. On this day, 1930, Babe Ruth, the guy you probably heard yeah. of a time or two, yeah. he hit his eighth and ninth home runs in the last week. Wow. So during that week, he hit nine wow. home runs. On this day in 1935, the first night baseball game was played. It was played in Cincinnati between what is now known as the Cincinnati Reds and the Philadelphia Phillies. The good old Red Stockings. Yep. And on this day in 1987, the 50th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge was celebrated by 300,000 people walking onto it at the same time. Wow. <laughs> Thing that thing can hold it. <laughs> Good test of the weight structure, though. Yeah. Yeah, we got some days today. Today's Aviation Maintenance Technician Day, International Tiara Day. Oh. Yeah, you forgot your chart. Oh, well, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Brothers Day, Don't Fry Day, as in don't get sunburned. Yeah. National Scavenger Hunt Day, those are always fun. Yes, they are. National Road Trip Day. Mm hmm. I'm sure a lot of people are taking a road trip this weekend. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I was uh, hearing some statistics, and it's pretty crazy how many people will be traveling this weekend. Do you remember how, about how many? Uh, big number. Yeah. Big number. I think double-digit millions. Well, I know it's one of the most expensive weekends to uh, travel oh, yeah. via plane. Yeah. For sure. So, and it's National Escort, Escargot Day. Ah. Which I've never, never had. had. I don't think I would be a fan. No. Andrew, you ever have? No, no. never have seen No, yeah, I don't. I like seafood and things, but even though it's still not seafood, but I, I, mean, I don't know. You know. I, don't, I don't think I like the texture. No, no. <laughs> Tried uh, octopus once, and that was enough. Yeah, yeah, I've had that before. I wasn't the biggest fan. But. Yeah. Hey, teach their own. Exactly. Money news, uh, the Dow went down a little bit yesterday. It closed at uh, 39,065.26, so it went down 605.78 points. Uh, but the futures are up this morning, up 59 points at 39,212. 
That's so good. we'll keep an eye on it today. Yeah. It's either going to go up or down, as Mr. Dick Belcher used to always say. Yes, it will. So, but the NASDAQ reached an all-time high. Oh, that's good. So that's some good news. Yeah. And uh, and Cam did this report for me. Uh, uh, Nib 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 Nibidia. Nib 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 <laughs> the uh, company that's charging about AI chips, Chat GPT. They they reported a growth over four hundred percent. Hey, that's awesome. So that's quite the growth there. So yeah. You know, everything's starting to shift towards AI more and more. So yes, it is. Where we live in. Could be a good thing or bad thing. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Well, the first federal, we are open today from 8.30 to 5, and tomorrow from 8.30 to noon. Like I said, at the start of the show, we will be closed on Monday and observance Memorial Day, but then we'll be open on Tuesday for normal, regular banking hours. You can always bank with us online and with our free mobile app. Uh, so no matter you have an iPhone or an Android, you can go to your Google Play Store or the, or the uh, App Store. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think what Apple was uh, called there for a second. Yeah. Um, and type in First Federal Savings Bank, look for the uh, white star in the green background, and you're halfway there. There are ATMs open 24-7 as well if you need some cash. And if you're traveling over the Memorial Day weekend and you're in an area that doesn't have a First Federal Savings Bank ATM, no, no need to worry. We're part of the MoneyPass network, so you can go on MoneyPass.com, look at uh, all the different ATMs in that location that are part of the MoneyPass network, go and use one of those, and you won't get charged for charge fee. Absolutely. So those, those little fees can be quite annoying. Yes, they can. I remember when I was in college, uh, First Federal wasn't part of the Money Pass Network yet, so nah. and they didn't have a First Federal ATM, unfortunately, down at Purdue, so I always yeah. have to use whichever one I could find. And there was always a four, five, six dollar fee at the time. Yeah. Had to get money though, so how? Oh, yeah. Money. So that's a nice, nice thing, and, and, and we're really happy to be a part of the Money Pass Network now. Still got some CD specials going on. Got an eight month CD special at 4.99% uh, APY, which is annual percentage yield. And we have an eight month CD at 4.06% APY. So okay. come in, we'd love to get one of those open for you. We also got multiple loan specials going on. Mm -hmm. You can reach out to any of our experienced mortgage loan originators for more information on those. And then in Winnemac and Rochester, that would be Stacey Wilson and Ben Dalton. Okay. And we offer simply free checking accounts and simply free business checking accounts. Right now, when you open up a new checking account, you get a free gift, which you got a uh, choice of gifts to yeah. spin around. You got a headphone and speaker combo or a First Federal logo and umbrella. And Cam's showing it off there for everybody to see on uh, on Facebook. And uh, we're not going to open up the umbrella inside. Uh, because, no, no. Thank you know, that brings them that luck. Yeah, so let's not, not do, that. do that. But, uh, Come in and see us. We can get a Simply Free checking account or Simply Free Business checking account. Hope for you, you can get one of those. Or if you already have a checking account with us but you really want to give, got good news for you. There is a way you can do that it's through our Refer a Friend program. So you refer, refer a friend. Your friend comes in, opens up a checking account. They'll get a gift for opening up the account, but you will too just for referring them. You can do that in person or online. Yeah, so go in and tell them Paul Zartan sent you because uh, I really like that uh, headphone speaker combo. All right, there you go. So tell them Paul sent you. We offer commercial lending for businesses. Contact Lindy Breeden for more information. His direct line is 574-223-1716. And if you think about retirement uh, or uh, wanting to check on your 401k, get, your for get a 401k established, IRA, those types of things, contact Mark Blueball or Brian Bell of our financial services department. For more information, they'd be uh, happy to get you started and talk, talk to you about your finances. Uh, their direct line is 574-223-1705. And keep up to date with the latest uh, news, information, offerings we got going on at First Federal by following us, liking us, subscribing to us on all social media platforms. That would be liking us on Facebook, following us on X and Instagram at FFBanking is our handle on there liking our LinkedIn page and subscribing to our YouTube channel, which you can see an archive of First Federal Radio shows from the past five or so years and see the transformation of this beautiful studio which we're standing in. Absolutely. We're the only locally owned bank at Fulton County. We are one of the biggest bank, just the best. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines. We're FDIC insured and equal housing lender. MLS number three nine 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 two seven. And that makes us legal. It makes us legal and ready for the fun part of the program where we get an interview or special guest, which today is Andrew Horseman, who is the uh, chairman of the board for Fulton County Health Health Program Manage. Morning, Andrew. Good morning. Thanks for joining me this morning. Good 
No problem. Appreciate it. So, how many years have you been involved with Fulton County Habitat for Humanity? Uh, three. Three years? So, fairly new. Um, it was, this is my kind of first ever involvement with Habitat, mm -hmm. so no history there. And I'm uh, learning a lot as I go. So, I might not have all the answers, but I can hopefully find the people that do know the answers. Well, uh, you, you, know, you knew enough and have the passion enough to be voted as the uh, president of the board, chairman of the board, I should say. So, yeah, it, it, it was a, uh, it, it wasn't quite unanimous. Um, <laughs> there was there was one vote that that said uh, he wasn't ready. That was me. Uh, but apparently, everybody else thought I was ready, and we're we're taking things head yeah. on. So, what uh, attracted you about uh, what attracted you about the uh, Habitat for Manny for you to want to get involved? Uh, really, just kind of being new to the community uh, three years ago and just wanted to get involved, uh, wanted to give back a little bit, wanted to you know, really make this community my home and right. make it better for everybody. So that's what really drove me to get involved and uh, I do enjoy, you know, the Habitat mission, mm -hmm. uh, giving people homes, giving them, you know, a hand up to, you know, have that kind of American dream of home ownership. Sure. And, uh, and Habitat's got, a, got an interesting board. they got a fairly big board but yet a very passionate involved board and I think that that's a little different than a lot of boards out there because a lot of boards you have a lot of members on the board of course but they don't really get as involved as they as they have that board since yeah that's correct we are a all volunteer organization so the board is involved in a lot um, you know, typically boards are more for governance and oversight right. uh, check the financials make sure things look good and then you hand it off to a director or someone like that to to run it, but we are all volunteers, so it's usually you know a lot of a lot of involvement in a lot of different ways. Um, if you are interested, just check out our uh, website, Facebook page. Uh, there's ways to contact us through that, and we can get you tuned into volunteer opportunities. And, uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook too. That's where we kind of put all of our opportunities for volunteering and fundraising and stuff like that. Speaking of fundraising, I know that's a big topic we want to cover today. You got a big fundraising event going on at the end of July in your golf outing. That's your correct. Golf outing coming up. Yeah, it's a it's the premier golf outing uh, here in Fulton County at the Round Barn Country mm -hmm. Club. Uh, it's July 27th. Uh, we are looking for whole sponsors, teams, come out and play. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a scramble format. Lots of different ways to get your score low. Um, we got a meal at the end, hot dogs, burgers. It's, it's a really good time, so please sign up. And I, I do want to give a quick shout out, if, I'm, if I may, sure. to some of the folks that have already signed up or became a whole sponsor. So I'd like to thank, pull my phone up here, <laughs> sorry. Uh, like Webb's Pharmacy, they're a whole sponsor. We got Wilson's Body Shop with the team. Uh, we got Fulton County RMC with the team. Uh, Hoosier Racing Tire with the team. They'll probably finish first. Yeah. Uh, out of all the foursomes there, they, they usually go pretty quick. Uh, first, uh, Christian Church has a team, and uh, we got you know Funk Enterprises and New Holland with whole sponsorship. So, right. so let us know. Uh, get your team signed up. It is it is a lot of fun, uh, lots of prizes, and it's just really a, a good day for a good cause. And how much is it for a whole sponsor, and how much is it for a team? And is there? I know in the past, Pat, that's always done kind of a bundle if you do both. Yes, I. I think I got the numbers in front of me, but a whole sponsorship's $100. Okay. Uh, get your name out there on a whole or maybe even a couple. You yeah. know, we, we spread you out throughout the golf course. It uh, looks like a, a team sponsorship is about $280 uh, for four golfers mm -hmm. for the day. And if you bundle them up, it's uh, $350 for a whole sponsorship and a, and a team. So that's pretty good bang for your buck. Um, yeah. You know, if you're a business and you just want to maybe treat your employees to, to a nice day at the course, yeah. it's a great opportunity to sponsor a team, get some people out there to have some fun. Even if you can't golf like me, like I'm, 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 I'm terrible. I'll just, uh, I think Charles Barkley has a better swing than I do. Uh, but I go out there and I have a lot of fun. Um, there's no better place to lose nine or 12 golf balls on a Saturday morning. It's it's a, it's just really a good time. Yep, they make a million golf balls a day for a reason. That's what I always say. So. Yes, yeah, I, I want to keep that industry going. Yeah, right now, so. a few donations here and there. So. Speaking with Andrew Horseman this morning, he's the chairman of the board for the Fulton County Habitat for Humanity. And uh, any other fundraising 
uh, events planned or, or, or fundraising opportunities you can talk of? Yeah, we actually, uh, this year, um, the Habitat of Indiana, our state kind of organization, has lobbied uh, the state and got some tax credit stuff going on. So uh, usually when you get to a nonprofit like Habitat for Humanity, you get a, a little deduction on your taxes. Um, right now, um, you have to have a special form from us. And again, contact us through Facebook or, or the website. But you can get a 50% tax credit for your donation. So if you donate a thousand bucks, you get a $500 tax credit on your state taxes. Uh, that's eligible for businesses, individuals, whatever. Um, that's a really, yeah. really good incentive because um, that's just direct money back. That's and not, you know, dependent on your tax liability and all that stuff. Um, it is a great opportunity uh, to help your tax burden here in 2023, so you get that on uh, next year when we file. But please contact us for that. We've got a goal to raise um, about $26,000 through that program. So we have basically 13000 just over $13,000 in tax credits to give back to those who donate. So let us know. Um, it's a great opportunity. We're just kicking it off uh, right now. But like I said, reach out through Facebook, yep. website, and if you're interested, we'll, we'll get you the information you need. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I know we had some uh, members of the Fulton County have that for many board on last month on um, mm -hmm. the first federated show talking about the uh, grand opening, the ribbon cutting ceremony for the new building there for you guys, the office building. Yes. Now that is up and running and officially open to the public. Yeah, it's a, a, we say open to the public. Yeah. There's not man, so like it, we don't have office right. hours or anything, but, right. uh, but we do have a building that's right across the street from uh, First Federal uh, mm -hmm. behind the Home of the Course. House, House of the Course, yep. Yep. sorry. Yep. Yep. Um, we're right there. We got a nice storage facility mm -hmm. to store building materials. We got a meeting space. Um, it's really a great facility for us. Um, it gives us a home, gives us a presence here in the community, and it's uh, it's been a real kind of pleasure to have that building. Yeah. Um, it's it, it's made our mission a little bit easier. Right. Oh yeah. It's because uh, before then made a lot of things go into like you said running a golf outing, full signs, different things like that. So. Multiple people were storing things yes. in their garages and yes. extra storage In their space. offices. In their like, offices, like yeah. Five different people have different habitat folders in their yeah. home office because they exactly. ran this or that. So now it's all, all, it's all in one spot. Yeah. It, it's making our, our jobs a lot more efficient, for sure. And, uh, yeah, it's a great little building. We had a really good turnout for the ribbon cutting. Uh, mayor came and he spoke a few words, and we had papers there. And it was just a, it was a really good event. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. So, um and I know when they were on last month, they talked about uh, the home build going on. So it seemed like it was yep. really, and the wheels were in motion there. Yeah, it's uh, it's coming together. We, we, we're in a really new, like, great spot here because Rochester Homes helps us right. Right, with the home. Um, that is huge for us. It's a great benefit. Um, but, the, you know, the home comes and it gets set and it's and it's there. It looks like it's done, but it's not quite. Right. You know, it's not like a stick-built home you see getting built over the course of several months. Um, so there is kind of that stuff we're all doing now. we got to hook it up to the water and the sewer line. we got to get electric hooked up. And uh, we got, you know, the homeowners been painting. And now we got to work on trim and getting the kitchen set and things like that. So, uh, so the home is coming together. Um, it's not quite complete yet. But we'll, we'll have it done here this year. And, and the good news is we already got our second family. I was so, just going to ask that, yeah. Yeah, so we already got uh, right. another family to move into hopefully a home next year. Right. Um, that is, that's really good. Um, so we're, yeah, we're, like, yeah. like I said, we're just moving. Yeah. We're moving fast, uh, you know, so if you're interested in helping out in any way, again, reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Anything else you'd like to plug this morning about have that for Mandy or any fundraising opportunities or anything along those lines? We're, we're happy to take... Uh, any money. Right. Um, right. You know, we are a non for profit. We, we rely a lot on fundraising. Uh, we do have some smaller events throughout the year, so follow us on Facebook. We got uh, some dine to donates at different yep. local restaurants. You go there, they donate a percentage of the night sales to us. Uh, we usually have a presence there to take some extra tips if you, if you got that. Um, you know, we'll take cash, it's just as good as money, as Joe Barry used to say. <laughs> Um, we also uh, had a couple uh, shop nights at Broach Boutique, 
uh, where they gave us a percentage of the sales back, and, and that way, you know, when you're out shopping for Christmas or Mother's Day or uh, whatever, you know, look for those events because you can get, you know, a nice gift or you can get a nice meal, and you're helping out a local, right. local cause. And again, you know, sign up for that Premier Golf Outing. Yes. I mean, you don't want to miss it. It'll be the talk of the town. Um, it, it'll just be an awesome, awesome event. So. Make sure to sign up for that. And remind everybody the date and time of that event. Um, it's July 27th. It'll be in the morning. I don't know the exact start time. Right. Um, I don't have the flyer in front of me. I apologize. But it's a it's a Saturday morning. We end with lunch and award ceremony. Um, it's just really fun time. Weather is usually awesome. Uh, it's it's just a good day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Andrew, for joining me this morning. Thank you for everything you do for Habitat and for the community. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. I and had you a question can... for him real quick. Okay. If someone wants to send donations, how do they do that? Can they just drop it off? Is there a place to mail it? Uh, we have a P.O. box. Um, I can look it up, but you know, mail to the P.O. box. And we're also working with First Federal's help. We're working on digital donations. Okay. So we'll probably have some information on Facebook. It you know, might be as simple as a QR code, scan it on your phone, type in your card information, and donate that way. Um, that all it all goes. Every little bit helps. You'd be surprised what just twenty bucks okay. or ten dollars will do. Um, but yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. If you if you want to send a check in, mail it to the PO box or find a board member. Um, we're all over the place. Uh, you might not mail it, but just ask around. You'll find one of us or two of us in a room sometimes, and um, we'll do it that way. But yeah, we're gonna start pushing that that, that digital donation that'll thing. Be great. So that'll that'll be easy easy way for, for people to donate. And then, like, you know, if you want that tax credit, let us know. Because we'll get you the forms on that, and that'll be uh, a lot more bang for your buck. So you're giving a lot of money to us, and we'll help you get a, half that back from the state. So that's actually kind of a good thing the state's yeah. doing, I think. You know, yeah, that's giving exciting. Giving us money back. So. That's exciting. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, thank you, Paul. Good question. Yeah, no problem. So. Well, now I will give you a question again. Uh, yeah. The trivia mm-hmm. question of the day, how many countries does Habitat for Humanity operate out of? A, 10, B, 22, C, 48, or D, 83? And Andrew, you can take a stab at this, too. You want to go first? No. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, thanks. I was, I was kind of hoping maybe, you know, you I've only been involved for inside. three years. I, I, don't, I have not looked this, this up, so I am... Curious, but I got it. I got a guess, but I want to hear. I have absolutely no clue, so we're gonna test to see if Cam is a little better at you than putting the answers down, and I'm gonna go C. C. So you're going C48. I'm gonna do the 83. 83D. Andrew's the chairman of the board for a reason. Yeah. 83. <laughs> I wondered if it would be that many, but countries. I was like, you know yeah. what? We're gonna test him because Tanner has a good habit of putting the answer at C, no matter what. So, hey, note to self, Cam. Yeah, yep, he, he knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's why I was telling him, because you're yeah. good at that. I, 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 do, I do have a bad, bad reputation of doing that. But 83 countries, yeah. I was kind of stunned by that. that yeah. Matter, so. It is a great organization for communities all over the world. Absolutely. Sure. Well, let's close with some words of wisdom from a guy named Thomas Edison, who was a famous inventor of many different things. Yeah. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try one more time. Those are great words of wisdom. And uh, Andrew, thank you so much for coming in and joining us. And Cam, I hope your experience wasn't too bad today. (laughs) And Tanner, thank you again as always. Uh, We look forward to seeing you guys again next week. You hosting again next week? I am not, but I'll be here. Ah, Uh, Thank Todd's the host next week. All right, so So we get a break from Tanner. (laughs) Yes. All right, we'll see you guys next week.